Now let's discuss the simple criterion to decide or to check whether a polynomial has a multiple root, or is called a multiple root. So the polynomial f with coefficient in some field has a root, say alpha in the algebraic closure of k of some multiplicity. say at least two, if and only if alpha is both a root of f and its derivative. Of both f and f prime, the derivative of f. So this is the statement we want to prove. Uh, so first of all, uh, so I denote, as I said, by k bar, the algebraic closure. Of k. Now, if you don't know this definition of multiple root of root root of some multiplicity, let's recall this. So uh, a polynomial f in k of x we say that has a root uh, of a certain multiplicity so multiplicity mu so this is i want to give the definition of this if we can write, so we can um, divide f with the polynomial x minus alpha to the power mu. So in other words, if we can write f of x as x minus alpha power mu times some polynomial g, which doesn't have alpha as a root. So g will be some polynomial in the closure, coefficient in the closure of k, and such that g um, of alpha is not zero. So this is the definition. Now let's prove this um, fact. First of all, let's observe this uh, basic thing. So we suppose that f has a root of multiplicity mu say has any root so even we allow multiplicity one but then as we said we can write f of x as x minus alpha power mu times g just as above and by taking the derivative of this uh, polynomial expression we see that f derivative of this is of course uh, mu times x minus alpha power mu minus 1 times g plus x minus alpha I'm using the Leibniz uh, rule here power mu times the derivative of g so I can rewrite this by uh, factoring out x minus alpha power mu oh. power, sorry, I want to factor out here mu minus 1, and so this I write as mu times g of x plus uh, x minus alpha times g prime of x. Yeah. So I'm gonna use this this identity here star. So going back to our problem, if we have then a root of say multiplicity at least two, 
then by this expression we see that x minus alpha uh, the polynomial x minus alpha divides f prime because the, the exponent m minus 1 is at least uh, 1 so f prime has a root and this was quite straightforward has alpha as root conversely we want to suppose that f of alpha is 0 which already uh, implies that u is at least 1 and f prime so the derivative also has 0 at alpha and from from our expression here which is valid whenever whenever uh, whenever f whenever f has a root just like in this case then we see that well what if we substitute for alpha here we see that um, f prime of alpha which is zero by our assumption so in other words let me just say it very clearly here mu cannot be just one right because if mu was one then um, so this this part would be equal to one here and by substituting alpha for f prime of x we see that um, well this would, would disappear and then we would have mu times g of alpha which is non-zero and so this uh, would be a contradiction so we get that mu is at least two